it's Steve here from showroomsonline.com and Emma on the camera. Yeah. Um, and we are at Trenton Manor. <laughs> We're at Trenton Manor by St Modwin Homes um, in uh, Trenton, Stoke on Trent. So this show here at the Chichester. How many bedrooms, Emma? It is a four bed. Bed. Four bed detached. Yeah, four bed detached by, by, um, by... What do you think of the outside? How does that look to you? I think it's very nice, very impressive. Very, yeah. Particularly like to have the word show homes right across the front of your house. Ah, but it's in, it's <laughs> in silver lettering. Absolutely. So let's go and take a look at this. Um, just in case you didn't know yeah. it was a show home. And just so you know, we haven't viewed any St Modern houses before. Oh, so, you know, this is a new. New to, new to us, yes. We don't know what to expect. Oh, it's got a bit of a show me smell, as it you'd has, expect, yeah. wouldn't you? Right, let's okay. take a look at this. Well, the one. RCD box is right as you're coming through the door there. Ooh. Right. I like. We don't like that. We let, Let's get it in away somewhere. Yeah, put it you know? out of the way. Yeah. Right. So let's start this way then, to the left. And this is the lounge. Oh, it looks very luxurious, this, it's, doesn't it? It's actually back to front on the plan as well, yeah. just to confuse me when we get upstairs. Oh, I've got a different feel about this. Yeah, it's a little bit darker, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. So let's see what it is with the lights off. Yeah. Even though you've got two windows in here, I think yeah. it's because of the positioning of this house yeah. actually on the plot. Okay. So they've not got any curtains, they've got blinds. Which can sometimes take the light away, can't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, and they've got blinds on every window. So they've got a sofa and one chair. And a bit of a merchant's chest, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, which is probably way too big for in here yeah. actually I would say there aren't many people that will have a piece of furniture like that but you could fit a nice corner sofa in that corner couldn't you yes and you know a nice coffee table you've got your TV there's room for everything I think it's just the choice of furniture yeah. that they've used in here. we actually have old. got three windows in this house haven't yeah, you in this lane to be honest with you there might have just been better having just one big one at the front <laughs> maybe but it's a design feature isn't it so, a good size lounge, I'm just not sure about how it's been dressed. Yeah. I don't think it's done any favours. Okay, so, across here, we've got a study. Good. It's compact, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, but, oh, actually, it goes around the corner. So, actually, it's bigger than it looks yeah. when you come in. Uh, again, I think they've used some, some odd furniture in here darker the walls are darker than they need yeah, to be yeah. which makes it seem smaller it is quite a decent sized room yeah obviously for somebody that likes gardening like yeah. we do yeah so back into the hall and also the, the hall is carpeted yeah you can actually see that. everybody's footprints you can i haven't seen that very often well, and you've got a nice, a nice cupboard oh, car. yes with a, with a light absolutely so there's another door here and that's your downstairs wc yeah that's just simple as it goes, isn't yeah, it? That's fine. Um, it is um, we've got, I think it's uh, Vitra, Vitra Sanctuary, which I've not heard of. No. So, okay. so we're through to the back of the property. Oh, which is pretty. Like, like the nice wallpaper, actually. Feathers. Yeah, it almost seems like there should be a door there going somewhere. Yeah, we've well, got the lounge on the other side, yeah. haven't you? It's nice. It's all right. It's just well, different. I think it's a. Uh, it's, it's a perfectly adequate kitchen. You've got a decent sized dining space at this end, yeah. haven't you? Yeah? Yeah. Access to the garden. You've got a really good kitchen, good sized kitchen, with everything you could need. You've got fridge and freezer, your ovens, plenty of cupboard space. I do like these. You've got a nice high gloss kitchen, beautiful sink, lovely, lovely mixing bowl there if you like baking. So, integrated appliances, that'll be your dishwasher, yeah? Yeah. And a really good size hob, actually. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. And the, um, what do you call it, the extractor. Yeah, yeah, the hood. And then through there, tucked away behind the door, you've got a utility. Yeah, nice room, isn't it? Well, you've got everything you want. Yeah, you've door got, outside. Yeah, you've actually got room for two appliances. It's got a sink, which we like to see, and it's got plenty of cupboard yeah. space. So everything that you don't want in your kitchen is in here. Yes, yeah, it is. It is. It's got. You've got it's, the boiler there. It's a, actually when you look at it, you've got more than enough cupboard space between the two rooms. I like it. I think it's a really good kitchen. In I, fact, it runs right the way. I just think this interlude here looks a bit cramped. 
Yeah, and to do between the but two. Then you would, I suppose, have the door shut. Yeah, so I suppose so. Be. But just look, yeah. these are our own opinions, aren't they? Yeah. You know. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't keep the door no. open. No, I just love the smell in here. It's nice. It's here somewhere, I think. Mm. Okay, so up we go. Now then, if you go to the left, that should be bedroom one. There's a lot of birds in this house. So bedroom one is above the lounge. Ooh, right. Well, it's got these <laughs> these huge, big Juliet balconies, they call it, do they? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely beautiful curtains, though. 10 out of 10. I like those. Aren't they lovely? Yes. I'd be very interested to know where they came from. But it'd be nice Beautiful. just to open those doors up, wouldn't it? You know, open them up and just... Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they're nice, you know, the nice set of doors there, isn't there? Yes. Just it to open be. them up and add a bit of... Yeah, but you're on a busy road. <laughs> And you're not overlooking green fields. Yeah. But it is what it is. And yeah. for convenience, it's a good thing. And location. actually, in fact, these houses are very keenly priced as well. They certainly you are. You know, and you haven't really got a lot of choice in Stoke on Trent for housing. So, this is the ensuite for the master bedroom. Yeah. It has got a window, so there's a bit of natural light. It's got a shower, a toilet, and a wash basin. Yeah. So, back into the bedroom. These lamps are lovely as well, aren't they? Look yeah. Birds. We've got large fitted wardrobes very similar to taylor wimpy there the way that they're actually built in aren't yeah. they, with the wardrobes a bit of extra space there for a chest of drawers that kind of thing right we've got bedroom three with big bear on the bed he's big isn't he you need to sit him up a little bit steve he's fallen over there we go okay we've got a cupboard your boiler. The, well there is actually a, a, a really vague connection to the birds and St Modwin. The St Modwin's logo is a swan. Okay. I'm very very impressed with the interiors actually. Some yeah. of the fabrics they've used in this house. So 10 out of 10 for interior design. I love the wallpaper, love the curtains. The accessories are very nice. Yeah. We've got birds again. That bird hasn't got a head. It's a headless bird. Okay, right. Main bathroom. So, separate shower and bath. Which is good. Yeah. Isn't it? It gives you a real sense of space in yeah. here. Not a lot of developers do that. No, and that's a don't. plus to you there, some modeling. Usually there's a shower over the bath. Or in the main <coughs> bathroom, there isn't even a yeah. shower a lot of times. So there's two you showers have, in this room, yes, isn't there? in that in the, there is actually, yes, there's a shower attached ah, to the bath. Now this is the jungle room I heard about. This I keep... is bedroom four. <coughs> this is oh. the famous jungle room that I keep hearing about on Facebook. Wow. <coughs> Very good, isn't it? It's really cute, I like it. Super furniture actually in here. And what's the relevance of the monkeys, Emma? Monkey forest. Which is just on your doorstep. Absolutely. It's a nice room, isn't it? Yeah. It's cute. Yeah. And where we've got Big Bear in the other room, in here we've got this lovely elephant. Yeah, and a... Oh, that's for you to hang your coat on. Oh, is it? I thought yeah. it was a headless dog. It's for dog leads and oh. coats. So then we are at the front of the property, and this is bedroom... Bedroom two. Bedroom two. It's nice. The colour, I think, just drowns it a little bit, but yeah. it's too yeah. dark. Yeah. yeah, I think if you, you've I think got... It, I think it's gone a little bit too far with pushing the boundaries of, of trying yeah. to be creative. If you've got light and airy, airy, airy windows and you've got nice big yeah. windows, let yeah. the light speak for itself. Absolutely. Ah, oh, so we've got a cupboard. So Which is still the same colour, yeah. It is actually, the cupboard's painted the same colour. Okay. Fitted wardrobes there. Yeah, same colour, very nice. So, Oops. looking past... Apologies. Just trying to shut the door. It's okay, got you. Looking past the, all of that, the extremes of colour and design in this house, because there are a little bit of there's a little bit of mismatching going on there. But it's quite it's quite nice 
there are elements of it that I do like. Looking past that, it is actually really good sized accommodation, yeah. particularly the kitchen, the dining area, the lounge is a good size. It's, it's a, a really adequately sized family house, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you want, if you want to look at any of the uh, other Samodwins videos we've got on, then visit our our website, which is www.showroomsonline.com slash directory, and then you'll be able to see the Samodwins logo. Click on it, and um, you'll be able to see what we've got to offer. And please feel free to give us some feedback on this property, because developers are asking us what what our viewers think about their houses. Uh, so we're feeding it back to them. So if you can let us know, you are able to comment on the videos on the YouTube channel. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think about the decor, the layout, the way the house works, whether you think it would work for you, or whether you've actually come and looked at it or bought one. We Be want to Yeah, know. because you're the critics, Absolutely. ultimately. We're yeah. just showing you what we see, okay? Let us know what you think. And You can follow us on Facebook, on Twitter. We have Pinterest. There's many, many ways that you can follow where we go and what we look at. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and don't forget Thank to you. subscribe.